Uh, Work. Aww. What are you thinking? Okay, they, the editors have really gone in. This is such a good season. I yeah. literally love it. Okay. Even though I'm not there. Actually, I kind of love it more that I'm not there. Because <laughs> <I bet. laughs> now we can really dig into the tea. <laughs> what did you bring for uh, Snatch Game? Oh, my God. I was going to do Chris Crocker. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been good. Leave Brittany alone. <laughs> that would have been iconic I feel like I wanted to be consistent because I did a YouTuber for season 9 I did Gigi Gorgeous mm -hmm. and so I was like you know what I know every Chris Crocker monologue how funny <laughs> would that be do you know Chris Cocker? Yeah. I actually called him before I went and I was like what do you think like which era should I do <laughs> and he was like babe go all in with the like leave Britney alone yes. era you know what I mean so yeah, yeah it would have been funny but <laughs> 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 Tatiana, what are you thinking of this season so far? Oh, it's juicy. Yeah. And I actually genuinely, sometimes I think the drama is like not real. Yeah. But I feel like everyone genuinely hates each other on this season. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And I love that. <laughs> so I'm very here for it. <laughs> oh, yeah, the drama was real. I mean, oh, that Gia fight last week was a lot longer than what they showed. How long? Mm. How long did that go on? Give it, girl. I mean, it went until the point where. I was telling Gia, like, get out of my face. And she was like, or what, Farah? Or what? And I was like, I'm going to hit her. <laughs> were you expecting that at all when Gia walked into the workroom? Or were Absolutely you like not. I mean, the whole time we were there, our, like, on and off camera interaction was very pleasant. The drama we had in the club, we had already talked over, and it was already a thing of the past. Oh, really? You, so had, it, you had already figured yes! that out? Oh, it didn't. So okay. I was excited to see her there, and we were having fun with each other. And then a little did I know, she was out to get me the whole time. Oh, but, okay. And you know what? It's okay because, like, I, I'm i very entertained by what she's doing. Mm. And, I mean, as much as it sucks that I had to be the one to, like, be that, you know, lamb, I guess. The target. Um, yeah. It's fun to watch it not living it. Does <laughs> yeah. that make sense? Yeah. Because um, it was some good fucking TV. Fuck yeah. that stupid pretty bitch. <laughs> <laughs> uh, can I ask how you guys are now? <laughs> 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 Listen, okay, so I will always have a place for her. If she really wants to be, like, a real sister, I'm, my arms are always open. But we had a heart-to-heart -heart in Tel Aviv, Israel, and she, like, you know, apologized to everything on the show, and this was before it came out, and I believed her. And then when we went to New York for press week, she was telling all the press on camera that I'm not talented, not an all-star, I shouldn't have ever been there. And I'm like, girl, why are you going to apologize for doing that to me on the show and then keep perpetuating that? Like, that's not a real person. Or... <laughs> friend, you know. <laughs> not a real human. Yes. <laughs> That's true, though. Confirmed here. <laughs> yeah. But no, um, I actually am in love with her story. I'm in love with what she show, uh, what she is as a person and as an entertainer. I think she's so talented and, you know, I think that it's easy to get caught up in reality TV stuff because, yeah. you know, all the cameras are there and you're like, let's make it spicy. But I think sometimes, you know, you can uh, use the platform for really good to help <laughs> queer youth and not, you know, be a bully. Yeah. And we're back. <laughs> Put her there, baby. <laughs> I'm taking you to Malibu. <laughs> she said, Malibu, baby. Everybody wants to smell like an old person in the sun. Of California. Of California. <laughs> I have to agree. I think she won that fair and square. Oh, yeah. Trinity's a star. Oh Makes a noise for everybody. Wow. Yeah, she was good. And Naomi fucking killed that, right? Yes. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, yes. And I liked the Eartha kit. I thought it was good. Yeah. I did, I, too. I got it. Yeah. I feel like a lot of people wouldn't get it, but... <laughs> the illusion was, was very spot on as well. Yeah, the voice, yeah. everything. I think, like, she was very specific about the references she was making, yeah. which kind of went over my head, but I figured she was correct in saying them, so... <laughs> Well, she came out with, with it. A, she came out with the Emperor's New Groove uh, reference. Oh yeah, <laughs> that RuPaul like I can guarantee has never seen Emperor's New Groove, and uh, she but she didn't like sell that. But I don't know. It was so funny. I never knew who the voice of Isma from Emperor's New Groove was, yeah. but as soon as she said "pull the lever, crunk," I was like, "Oh, oh, it was yeah. a good go. impersonation, a really oh, good yes. impersonation." Oh yeah. yeah. Uh, what do we think about Monet's? Should have been in the bot. I mean. Could be in the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
Going in so many directions. Remember, guys, it. none of us have seen this episode on no Facebook. No one's seen this six episode. Six days ago, yeah. Um, uh, yeah, I think the bottom is definitely Monet and... What's the other one? Probably Monet and Valentina. Valentina? We had to yeah. pick two from this set. Yeah, but, but also it could be a, a a case of the they just played the wacky music behind it, so we don't know if Valentina's was really that bad or not. See, I think that hers right. is actually good, yeah. and they're just making it look a little bit different with like you know yeah. not a laughing track every time she speaks. So, <laughs> but they do play a little Editing. Spanish guitar behind her <laughs> like, at every fucking moment. Oh yeah, all the fucking time she's always in a fucking telenovela, just like in her Wild well Presents show, yeah. you know. Yeah. It wasn't a read. You go, ooh, shade. I know, I know. You oh. faggots are just waiting. Ooh. Um, uh, would Fair you have mentioned Valentina? Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> have, how, are, how are you guys? You and Valentina? I'm kind of sweating over here. Is it hot? <laughs> <laughs> no, um, me and Valentina, we're cool. Um, Does she love you? Uh, no, and she no. never will. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. No, no one's going to laugh at that. You guys are the she, worst. She, me and oh! I I really love that bitch, you know? She's a good person, and she, you know, she's good at this show. Yeah. You know, and like... <laughs> I like that. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> uh, Tatiana, would you ever go back and do uh, uh, All Stars, like, five, like Manila and... Uh, uh, or Ooh, six or seven? Yeah, or... would you ever go back? Um, I don't know, to be honest with you. I'm like down the middle. Like half of me is like, I had a really good time on two. Was it two? Two. Yeah. Um, I you wouldn't want to like fuck it up. A, yeah. Also like, I don't know. If they asked me, I would give it like a thought. I wouldn't do next season though. No. I would want to do a little bit further down just to give it some breathing room. We yeah. have too many fucking all-stars. They come out every fucking year now. So two of them a year. Yeah, it's yeah. aggressive. I mean, entertaining, but also just like, come on, <laughs> let's get some more seasons in there before we just, you know. We're all just a bunch of disposable oh, dancing back. monkeys. <laughs> Welcome back to the and we're back. Hey, that was interesting. <sighs> well, uh, who who do we think? Uh, do you guys agree with who won? You thought <laughs> Gia, you thought Gia should have won, yeah. Um, I have some mixed feelings about things because yeah. I know for a fact from being on the show, like if I, so there's a bunch of things wrong here. So <laughs> yes. first of all, Monique was just Monique. Let's be real here. Okay. Um, if Gia hadn't fucked up so bad, Monique would have been in the bottom. Let's be real here. But then also if I had been there and got distracted by somebody and broke character, I would have been in the bottom just for breaking character because they would have wanted to make an example out of me. So, <laughs> that's um, probably true. Yeah, yeah. But it's Gia's time, so throw her in the bottom. Hey. Throw her <laughs> in the bottom in Malibu. <laughs> Bunch of Democrats. Oh, Democrats. <laughs> um, I love it. I do. <laughs> uh, was that uh, a, a bad enough performance by Gia to go home, do we think? Oh, that was unanimous work. Isn't fence? that the same character she did for Snatch Game Who said on no? her season? No. What did she Girl, do? Boom. She did a nail tech or something. What? Kim Kardashian? No, she did it. She did Kim? <laughs> Who? Bianca threw a puppet at her. Oh, gosh. Oh. It's been so long. True. <laughs> it's been True. so long. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Farrah, when you walked in the workroom, who were you, like, really excited to see, and who were you like, oh, shit, this is going to be hard? Like, were you surprised by everyone there, or did you pretty much know the entire cast? I was really excited. Well, I pretty much know that. But I was really excited to see the season nine girls, Valentina and Trinity, because yeah. it just felt normal. And I don't know if y'all noticed, but we all got ready in the same spot that we got ready on season nine, and we were all next to each other. So it was Valentina, Farrah, Trinity. Um, and we all took our same workstations, too. Uh, so that was kind of fun because it felt familiar. It felt like, yeah. you know, come back to some unfinished business. But <laughs> I didn't think I was going to be threatened by Monique or Monet, to be honest. Yeah. I guess I just, like, look at drag in a different way than they do. I think they're more personalities, and season nine was very much, like, personality and looks. Yeah. Um, but I was very threatened. <laughs> 
I was very threatened, I guess, by Latrice and Manila because they are like some of the most talented girls in the game. So, yes, <laughs> Mark, how you doing? Oh my god! I always love. Who was here when I was here with Fifi? Oh my god! All I had to do was just sit. Fifi, and, just, walked... and then at the end of it, I would just go work. <laughs> Fifi. Job done. It was I like love it. Episode three or four, and Fifi walked in in a giant t shirt that said, Fuck yo, edit, and for two hours just read all of the messages from <laughs> yeah. her phone. Read, like, just totally, like, it was the only thing on Reddit the next day. <laughs> and uh, and then they released the footage that was, like, because she's... <laughs> do you remember this? Oh, and yeah, because she tried to call him out on something. They were like, no, bitch. And they just released raw footage quietly on the... Yeah. I w yeah. I, I will say I do appreciate Gia for the fact that she's like, I'm a villain. Here I am. Take it or leave it. But Fifi was kind of like did the villain work and then kind of stepped back and said like I, this is all editing and then it just became this messy like you know I don't know like a back and forth between I, production and yeah, yeah I appreciate that Gia's like eh yeah. Gia's like my favorite I wish she lasted longer well, oh my god I almost got cast for this show really <laughs> did you but they chose Farrah Abraham instead oh literally literally back to but I'm glad Mom? I didn't go Backdoor teen mom. Yes. They yeah. were like, do we do Farrah Moan or Farrah Abraham? Oh my God. So you would have had to like give them all the information on every guy you ever did. They did an hour dated. long interview with both of my exes. Oh, so yes. I have never seen this wacky show. How Me does, neither. You literally have to be like, these are all the I just wanted I to check. They were like, you're just going to get <laughs> drunk go. on the beach with, with like, you're going to find love. I was like, oh my God. So you, you'll pay like booking fee? Yeah. What? I was like, so I get paid to drink on the beach in Hawaii every day? Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah here's all my ex's numbers. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know that terrible dating show that they had uh, on... Oh, on Loco? Yeah. Oh, I don't even we don't know remember what it's Prince Charming, called. Prince Charming, Prince Charming. Something Prince Charming, and then he yeah. ended up being like a big old... Um, he did a lot of things in his past. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Uh, well, Trix <laughs> yeah. when they were casting for season two, Trixie was like actively trying to get on season two, and really? it just never came to fruition. But she's like, "Oh, I totally want to do that." I was like, "Girl, you need to get off logo." From, oh, like, bless. <laughs> get out of there, yeah. So, uh, what do we think? Uh, uh, did anyone else tear up watching Latrice talk about Christopher? She got married at drag. Well, she got married at the same time as DragCon. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, um, I love I, them, by the way, and together. Her husband is absolutely so amazing. Cute. They're so the cute. The cutest couple. They are like, so I feel like they're babies sometimes because they totally are like the, the gay relationship I look up to is like my, you know, um, relationship positive. inspiration. Yes, yes, mm -hmm. yes. They're just so truly in love and it's so special and it's so sweet and I'm just so happy for them. <laughs> This is too warm of a of a uh, show. We okay, let's get into the drama. Like, what else are they talking hate? about? They were talking about oh, girlfriends. Who who's a gold star gay up here? Has anyone had uh, the sexual relations with a lady? I had a girlfriend in uh, middle school, and I did touch her vagina. <laughs> oh, did you touch it like bareback, or did you just like touch no. it through? I the think panty. she just gently like no, I like poked it. <laughs> yeah, like oh, I see it you. That's fine. Yeah. I would I, have sex with a woman. I would. I ate a pussy once. Yeah, I did too. Oh, like yeah. a girl's pussy. Yeah. But then later well, I ate I a mean, boy's pussy. Yeah. Fair. Loved that. It, but ladies, when it was it's a girl, the 90s. Let's party. Who cares? <laughs> when oh it was God. a girl, I was like, let's just, you know, do each other's nails. I, I can't do this. <laughs> Well, because Work. before you come out, you're like, oh, no, I'm not. Like, I don't know. It just, like, scares you. And now I'm, like, so gay. I go back and I'm like, oh, I kind of think about vagina Maybe sometimes. I should experiment a little. Yeah, like, oh, an old friend. I, wanna, I haven't seen you in a while. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What about you, Tatiana? Not in the least. Um, <laughs> Are you a gold star gay? <laughs> oh, gold star completely. I make out with girls all the time, though, because it's just fun. That's like a yeah, handshake. You make that's out fair. with everyone. Should we do I it know, right that's now? what I'm saying. Like, girls aren't off limits. Making out's just, you know, cute. What but about no, I've never, special like, girls? One time I saw a vagina. Yeah? Yes. It was an interesting situation, but there was a vagina present, and I was like, can I look? And present. she said, great. And I went... <laughs> and I said, okay, well, thank you. <laughs> and then I was done. Thank you. <laughs> True story. <laughs> so you don't want to revisit. It's not your thing. No, I mean, I had a girlfriend 
in fifth grade. Her name was Caroline, and she's the best. No. That's All it. right, let's party. All right. Uh, who were y'all's uh, favorite runways? Who's her favorite runway? Valentina. No, uh, Valentina looks so good. Yo, and, oh, yeah. That was I incredible. hate that. Uh, the, oh, we haven't watched that part yet. Fuck. <laughs> Sorry, I watched, I watched this last week. Fuck. You'd be bootlegging um, thing. <laughs> Monet's was very good, but the Whitney Houston wasn't good enough. So, yeah. I'm like, I, my I favorite like look was Monet's. Monet's. It yeah. was very I, sexy. That's like what I would want to wear. Yeah. It was very good. Yeah. No. I could see you wearing that for real. Oh, yeah. With oh, a, like a little ponytail so wig. Just you would have pulled it off way back. better. You would have pulled it off way better. No, I <laughs> love a solid bob. Girl, those oh, center yes. parted bobs, that's kind of my thing. So, like, I respect Sit the back. whole look. I can't see anything. Oh, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> sorry my, I'm like, hey, girl, what's up? My um, balls hurt so bad. I'm trying to, because, oh, like, okay. when I'm sitting back, it, like, makes the, type, the tape tighter. So, I'm oh, trying yeah. to just. We're both sitting here, like, gently trying Duck to, like. Duct taped. We're, like, literally, like. Our it, balls are uncomfortable. It burns. Oh, no. <sighs> well, you're I wearing this wore duster jacket. Just go uh, peel them off in the bathroom and come back and uh, put it over. Let like Let that. her hang out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Boom. Boom. No, but um, I loved Latrice's. Yeah. She looks I so love, sexy. I yeah. love that hair color on her. I don't think I've ever seen that hair color on that her before. That shiny red fall. Mm-hmm. Oh. Oh, I loved it. And then, <laughs> yeah, just extending her entire, like, Aww. full drama, like one of your French girls, like, trying to, like, <laughs> yeah. balance and make your balls not, like, go up your ass. Okay. Um, uh, what did you think of uh, Gia's look? Oh, she it? went to Santiali last minute, babe. <laughs> oh, well, for one, I do love a Santiali. <laughs> but... We all do, but we, we, we dig when we go. Yeah. I will say there was a lot of denim. Sashay Shante, denim on the runway. Everyone just thought it was, oh, I'm going to wear boots and denim. Monique's look, I mean, I thought that her denim shorts just threw the whole thing off. Speaking, Kelly, do you have my phone? We have to post mine that I was going to wear. Okay. Ooh, hurry, yeah. Kelly, hurry. I want to see what your boots were. were Do you want to see it? Do you want to see it? It's so hoey. Like, were they pink? I feel like I'm, they were pink. Well, obviously, it's going to be hoey, girl. Yes. No, it's not pink. It's all gunmetal. Ooh, gunmetal. That's fun. Ugh. Oh, yes. Fully crystal. Is the audience we... loving this? So fun. <laughs> <laughs> so detailed. You guys can see okay, it. Okay, guys, I'm going to post it right now uh, after the commercial break is over. Y'all so y'all can check it, it out. Too. What did you guys think of uh, Manila's look with the bouncing down the runway? I thought that was so cute. That was clever. Listen, was... I loved it, but I could not help but feel for her. Like, I. Oh, yeah. Jumping. Uh, she probably got backstage and she was like, someone get me some water. <laughs> also, we have to do the runway twice. Yeah. So she had to do that two times in a row. I'm like, oh, And they girl. get her water and she like laps it out of a trough. <laughs> well, no, no, no. Then we have to line up behind the stage. So she had to hop while she <laughs> stepped up in line. How did they get her down the stairs? <laughs> and then she had to go up the stairs. <laughs> Is she being so judged? So that's commitment, bitch. That was a good runway just for the yeah. sole fact that she had to be in full character for that oh, all the way. What, oh, did, yeah. what did you think of uh, Naomi's with the horns and the the wide and the loved it justice it's for no, Naomi justice for Naomi because what they're gonna say is that it's not enough boot and I disagree it, there was, <laughs> spoiler alert it wasn't a boot it wasn't a boot though wasn't it no it, it was, was a boot. Boot. it was a shoe with like a like connect. a shin guard no, yeah. it was a it was oh. one of those complicated boots that you have to have I two people help you get into where you have to lace the whole thing all the way up to the top which is the hardest boot to wear but still if anyone too. knows so anything they were about, connected but still yeah just they were look connected. at it look at it they'll bring it up <laughs> she's like Bitches wait for it to it's come a, back. I okay, mean, it looks you amazing. Clock it. It's maybe you're right. Moment. It looks there. good. I just think Naomi should have probably been in the very, very top of the top. Oh, always. Every week, I think that. <laughs> I'm just mad. <laughs> always. Always. Yeah. She literally looks better than <laughs> everyone. True. <laughs> Not you. Ladies, <laughs> you are um, just Drag Race Fantasy League. I just want to say... Gus Kenworthy is way funnier than I ever knew he was. Yeah. And adorable. Have you met him? No. He's very charismatic and very very sweet. She's like, no, I haven't fucking met her. He's very funny. He's quick. Yeah, we we were hanging out at the Water Tower Mall last week. Uh, (laughs) Gus is very quick. I'm not surprised at all. He's He's so funny. Funny. Yes. Cutie. I just like his teeth. Yeah. A lot of tooth, and I like that. Oh, Oh, yeah. Mama, he is painted, too. I live... And Keenan Lonsdale, have you guys seen? Uh, oh, Love Simon! Oh. So adorbs. Oh, obsessed. Yeah, I would Eiffel Tower me. My God. Does anybody <laughs> in the audience have one of those little like fans? 
I'm what so kind hot. of drag race audience is this? No one here is gay. No the one fuck? here is gay. I mean, I actually appreciate it because that's the worst thing in the fucking the world. The worst sound. But typically, there's at least one person in the back that's like. <laughs> no, because if they had it, you would have known. Because every oh, time, use your clipboard. Every time RuPaul did a laugh, they would go. Ah! Yep. <laughs> and My we upper would all lip be going, is like projectile you. sweating. Are you? Well, yeah. There's not a, a drop of sweat on your entire face. You swear? Yeah, you see? look great. Oh, you're just gently dewy, mama. You look fresh. Yeah. Tinted moisturizer and lip oh, yeah. gloss. <laughs> Success. Just a little gloss um, and some mascara. All right, so uh, the top two, uh, uh, Trinity and Manila, we agree with that, yeah? Yeah. Yes. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> Uh, and uh, Naomi and Latrice were safe. What do we think about that? <sighs> Robbed again. Yeah. I think that's fair. It's fair, but that's fair. They did. They're just doing so good, and I just yeah. like want them to get that recognition. Yeah. yeah. I they're thought Naomi could have been one of the tops if they had switched something up. So I feel like she was closer. You know, Naomi's kind of falling. Like in her original season, she didn't really get any props until halfway through the season like yeah. she would they were like you did great okay moving on safe but i don't know i feel like she's really gonna shine in the second part of the season i don't know oh yeah, yeah. i feel like she's gonna be if someone that's gonna like it. build <laughs> a slow gonna, burn yeah no um no naomi i mean oh girl i walked into her booth or her what is it workstation when we first all got there and I can't wait to see some of these looks. Oh, my oh, God. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. She also, like, uh, before filming even started, like, in, like, June or July, she just, like, went to see Wendy Williams. <laughs> and she, oh, yeah. she, yeah, like, she didn't say yeah. in the audience. Yeah, she oh, just yes? quietly went to New York and was like, you know what? I'm going to go see Wendy Williams next week. Went to see Wendy Williams and then just came back and then, like, Went away for two months. Did any of y'all go see the or Drag Queen Christmas show that did was here a couple weeks ago? The did anyone come see? Yeah. Did y'all see Naomi's Whitney or Wendy number? Oh, it was so good, wasn't it? It really yeah, was. Yeah, Naomi wasn't in the one that was here, so you're lying. But that's cool. Oh, that's right. You're the worst. <laughs> She's like, Sorry. Mama, yes, work. She's like, I don't know. I'm just uh, a thirty one cities <laughs> blend <laughs> together Drag really queen. easily. You're a liar. You're such a fucking liar, it's hard Camille. Hard to keep track when you're on 31 cities, you're baby. Malibu, baby. I'm gonna be doing that voice. <laughs> Who doesn't want to smell like an old person in what is it? The sun in California. California. <laughs> um. Okay. So, oh, yes. what do we think about the bottom? Uh, Valentina and Gia. Who do we think is gonna go home? Gia. Down the middle. Okay. I don't think that Valentina should be in the bottom, yeah. personally. I don't either. That part. I think that she deserves a solid safe. And her outfit, like, I know we complain. Or, oh, uh, a long crotch, no. whatever. Yeah. That was still one of the most so stunning annoying. looks. Yeah. Yeah. And her snatch game wasn't horrible. It was researched. She yeah. executed it correctly. Justice for Valentina. Let's party justice drink, for Valentina. Going to this week, I knew. <laughs> oh, I love this television show. Oh my god. Can we talk about how ballsy fucking Valentina is? Yes. She's like, I am in the bottom, but I challenge you. Yes. To beat me, beat me at the end. She said, beat me, bitch. You could send me home today, but I'll see you at the finale. Girl, bye. That really Shit. That was it. I mean she. Yeah, I'm. I, it's like a little Jedi mind trick she was trying to fucking yes. play. Yes, good for her. I mean, she did get a little bit of a uh, you know hint from Trinity, which is a great advantage. If oh, you yeah. know, if you know what they're thinking, you can get into that. You know, reverse psychologize that situation. But Valentina mm -hmm. never should have been in the bottom to begin no. with. I'm True. sorry. That was some storyline bullshit. And even if she would have gone home, it would have been justice for Valentina. So she was like, whatever. Like, yeah, you know. Either way, she was golden. So but ballsy. I love that God, move. Could though. you imagine? I didn't even think about if she did go home. She's oh my like, God! Well, she I'd already, be mad. She already knows the strength I'd of going like, home well, too early. Well, right? everybody, this Fuck is yeah. the show. She, I mean, the first time she went home, I mean, yeah, they she played it up, but girl, she did not 
sulk at home girl. She went and made lots of money off gigs. She was like, oh, please send me home. I would love that storyline. I would love to be your rising phoenix once again, ladies. She was like, bitch, fuck with me. I don't care. Yeah. It, was, it was iconic for sure. That I was live. very good. Yeah. So who do, who do we think is going to win this lip sync? Hmm. Trinity versus Manila. That's kind of actually hard because they perform in such different ways. Yeah. I feel like Trinity's going to do a lot of like acrobatic shit. And what's Manila going to do? And Manila's going to aggressively dance in a humorous type of thank and you. And cross yeah, her Here we go. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Little <laughs> in a big so it group. really depends on like what makes Rue laugh more, I feel like. You know? Yeah. So. Wait, what is even his... Did they say the song yet? No, I don't think so. Okay. I don't think, right? No. I don't even remember what ever it was. Said the the I'm trying to like decide what I haven't actually seen here and what I watched last week on my laptop. So I'm like, <laughs> no, I don't think they've announced what the song is yet. Also, can we talk about this was the first time ever that RuPaul has shown her legs on the runway? Come on, legs! Ah! Ever. Because she hasn't shown her legs for like 15 fucking years. No. Yeah. But then it had to be in that dress. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes! Work! No, but I think she shows her legs a couple more times. I'm holding out. I, I do like the color on her. Yeah, I like the hair color with the sequin whole this, like, it, moment. It compliments her skin tone. She looks absolutely Cute. amazing. Yes. But I'm just happy to see her legs. I, my God, so sexy. She used I to only she wear that type of shit back in the I day. I knew she still had it. <laughs> <laughs> Malibu, baby. <laughs> What a, what do you guys think about Gia being in the bottom and how she reacted, crying? Like, how? Do, what do we think? Oh, I have something to say about this. Okay. So I didn't I didn't make a middle note of this when I watched the leak, but I love how now everybody's crying. But then the one time I cried when I spent all that money, all that time, all that energy, all that brain power coming up with my look, slipped and fell, almost broke my hip, ended up in the bottom, <laughs> and then I'm crying because something genuinely horrible just happened to me, and everyone's like, "You gotta You're stop crying. Cry, it's baby. so annoying." You're such a crybaby. And Gia's like finally in the bottom for the dumbest performance ever. And she's like, oh, I just, I just, and then she makes it. And now finally though, I am glad that we are hearing her story. It's yeah. no longer her trying to push a story on anything else. It's us getting to learn who she really is. Her focusing on Behind herself. that tough exterior that she puts. And I think that is what is important. And this yeah. is who the Gia that we all know and love really is. Just because she's good TV doesn't mean she doesn't have a heart and doesn't mean that she doesn't have a soul. And she does have a really important story. And I'm glad that we're getting to hear it this episode. Truth. Yeah. I did like that she kind of was like... No response. <laughs> Y'all can make some sort of response. There you go. I did like, it was kind of an about face where she's like, I feel uncomfortable. Like, I am trans and, I, you know, I don't, I feel weird being here judged among other men. It, it triggers me and it makes me be an asshole like I was in the past. I did like that she admitted that. No, I really did too. And it was, it was the moment of sincerity that I know that Gia is capable of that I wish she kind of been a little bit more the whole season, but then we wouldn't be so entertained. I mean, I don't know. Yeah. I'm just very happy. <laughs> but also, I think I'm going to go outside real quick because I'm burning up. Oh. Work. Go breathe it out, Mom. Welcome All back. right. What do we think about that episode, lady? Yes. <laughs> Farah, how do you feel about Gia going home? I mean... Listen, I already know. <laughs> but I, I'm just really proud that we got to hear more of her story and we got to yeah. see her actually be vulnerable because, I mean, ultimately, that's all I ever really wanted. Like, I mean, I've known Gia for a while and I know what kind of struggles she's overcome and what she's been through. And I think it was really beautiful that we really got to see, like, a genuine moment from her. And, you know, it, just like she said, she will always be an all-star. And, you know, regardless of, you know... I mean, listen, she made such good TV, everybody. She really did. She did. Did you know... Did you know no Gia... one claps. <laughs> Gentle <laughs> <laughs> golf clap. Did you know Gia before uh, you went on Drag Race? Mm, or you met her through no, Drag no, Race? No, 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 no. Yeah. All right. Uh, okay, we are now going to announce who's going to be here next Friday. Oh. Who's going to be here? Are they coming from Malibu? <laughs> They're coming from Malibu, baby. We're welcoming special guests Eureka O'Hara and Cameron Michael. Oh. Oh. Will they fight live on stage? You have to watch. <laughs> oh, they're best friends. That would actually it. make it like a good WWE match. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Celebrity down. match. Yeah. 
Fuck yeah. A loop um, fight between Cameron Michaels and Eureka. Celebrity deathmatch is coming back. Come on, Claymation. All right. Uh, this Sunday, uh, we are going to have uh, uh, Slave for Britney Sundays with special guest, my friend Derek Barry. Ah! Yay! Uh, also, friend and sister. Also, uh, on New Year's Eve, uh, it is all uh, Mary Poppins all over the bar. Uh, it's only $30 general admission. That's good on Halstead. And then it's uh, $50 or $100 VIP. You can get tickets to that uh, uh, on uh, Roscoe's uh, Instagram. Okay, you guys ready to do a Q&A, ladies? Yes. Ew. Oh, uh, do I, we have giveaways? I, oh, yeah, yeah. Give me the free shit. Mm. All right, if you have a question that's not fucking stupid, please ask it now. <laughs> ask me all the stupid <laughs> questions, because I'm totally down, by the way. Hello, hi, welcome. What's your question? Um, so on All Stars 3, the queens got to redo one of their looks from a past season. If uh, either of you got to redo a look of yours, what would you do? Like improve it? Yeah, a look that you feel like you didn't do to its full potential your first time on Drag Race. I have a couple. Go. I gotta think about how poorly I dressed on season two and then pick one. <laughs> it was oh, a different time. It was a different era. 2009 was 10 years ago. Gross. It was a good year. <laughs> um, I think I would do that one that I had to lip sync against Cynthia in the. Uh, God, what was it? The faux fur one? And I wore that obnoxious green Ooh, thing. Oh, the green with the fur and the yeah, red. The little bib that sparkled. I thought sparkled. that was cutesy. <laughs> I wasn't against it. I would wear it. I think... What would you change? From season two, I'd probably change that, like... You know that three looks in one, that fucking uh, ball challenge or whatever? Okay. That last little gown, I would actually wear a gown that wasn't hot glued together. <laughs> um, and then from All Stars, I stand behind every look that I wore on the runway. Yes. Hell yes. Come on, t boss Yeah, I ain't redoing that shit. Yes. I'm cool with what I wore. So yeah, that would be the one. No? Okay, cool. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what's your question? Uh, first, I wanted to say I saw your boots on Instagram. They look fucking sexy. And uh, second question is for both of you guys: Would you have sent Valentina home? Would you have sent Valentina home? Absolutely not. I mean, for that episode, absolutely no. Yeah, I would say no. One because, well, mainly everyone in America would hate me. <laughs> um, but if I was playing like strategically, yeah. But I don't think I would actually actually do that, which is dumb because. I wish someone would send the strongest competitor home just once. Just to really like spark it up, you know what I mean? Yeah. So no. All right, hi, what's your question? Hi. What was the most surprising thing to you about being on reality television, both like during and after? Ooh, good one. I didn't realize I was gonna have so much emotional trauma. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. That's actually true, crying from I will say on season two, I cried from happiness for the first time, and that's a really weird emotion to deal with. Really? Um, yeah, it's like exhausting. Like it just really takes it out of you, which is weird. But um, I would say actually filming, it takes way longer to do an episode than it looks like on TV. And then I think going home, I didn't realize that America or the world could be such assholes on social media. Oh. So you know, you just learn a whole bunch of shit, right? Yes, I mean- <laughs> I love you too. I felt every kind of emotion from reality TV from the moment of season nine and then going back to meet Christina Aguilera for season 10 oh. unexpectedly. I cried for weeks after that. <laughs> I was actually... <laughs> for weeks. Weeks. I was like, why did they do this? They, they didn't have to do this. They, that was the nicest thing. It was the nicest thing anyone's ever done for me. So I understand the crying tears of happiness. It's weird as fuck when All it Stars, I was like, I'm going to win something for once in my life. Just kidding. <laughs> So, yeah, I mean, it's a roller wh roller wind. Uh, World, whirlwind. Roller coaster? Whirlwind. 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 It was a real roller wind. It was a real roller wind, yeah. bitch. Um, hi, I have a question for Tatiana. Um, is it true during your season that you guys went out to dinner and Tyra Sanchez yelled at a waiter and made them cry? Okay. Well... No, but yeah. Okay, no, we What's had the dinner. Tea? From what I recall is <laughs> we had dinner in the hotel because there was a restaurant on the first floor. And I think that they put something on her burger that she did not ask for. And What she, episode is this? Uh, this was definitely uh, maybe episode... 
Mm, it could have been two. Mm -hmm. We waited to do our promo shots until after I think Shangela went home or Nicole. So Nicole was there sitting next to me. Okay. Um, so it could have been episode two or three. So Nicole's just fully barefoot, also screaming. One hundred percent. Yes. And her me and her, her teeth split a are bottle. sitting on the table, like yeah. We split a bottle of Pinot Gris, Love. and I guess Tyra took whatever she didn't like on her burger and just kind of flung it and was like, I didn't ask for this. That's what I remember happening, but the waiter was offended and everyone else was like, so that's what I remember, but it's yeah. been a, a, a while, so but I should be wrong. she said it didn't happen. Oh, well, I'm sure that she says a lot of things, doesn't she? <laughs> I just know if drag con- Tick, 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 tick. Boom. <laughs> at, dra- at drag con LA, a bunch of, someone popped a bunch of balloons near my booth and I was like, oh, she did it. She, it's happening. Oh, she arrived. <laughs> Well, goodbye. All right. Well, it's over. <laughs> too soon. Too soon. Too soon. All right. Uh, hi, what's your question? Hi. So what do you feel about the shenanigans that go on during the lip syncs? Like when like Manila standing in front of Trinity or in the past when Alaska licked Katya or any of those times? I think we both know the answer to this. Yeah. Because when you're in that moment, you don't know what they're doing. You're just moving. Well, sometimes I notice girls do look and specifically put themselves in that space. I've never been one of those girls to, like, try to block someone's view. I'm like, I'm going to focus on me. But sometimes I feel like there's a natural interaction that's respectful. And then there's some interaction that's just kind of fucking rude. Um, But I know if someone tried to get in front of me, I would literally just mush their face out my way. But that's just me. And I've never had to do that. So, yeah. (laughs) Yeah. What about you? Would you get angry if someone was like all up in your grill? I don't know. Like when I did my lip sync for your life on season nine, I, it was, I mean, I was just so focused. I didn't even, I didn't, I didn't know that Alexis Michelle had like ran from the back and like jumped into a split. I didn't know that like Cynthia Lee Fontaine had taken off all her clothes and had a red panty on with like. She took that off in the first verse. The first beat starts. She's like, oh yeah. I like just remember at the end of my number, just like looking over at them and being like, what happened? <laughs> so. With me and Alyssa, I could feel every time that she would do a fucking jump split because the stage would gently yeah. vibrate. I'm like, <laughs> oh, she did something acrobatic. Great. <laughs> Great. All right. Hi, what's your question? Thank you. <laughs> My name's Ryan. Um, I love you both. I've been watching forever. Um, I was just wondering, what are your goals for, for the next few years? What are your That's goals for the next few question. years? Well, for me, I don't know. Um, I kind of want to... S- yeah, well, I'd work. like to invent a catheter that goes into your pads, so That's you could. That's actually smart. Do drag comfortably. Um, Cute. <laughs> I want to start a girl group. I tweeted about it the other day, and um, I genuinely r- kind of want to do that. I'm right here and waiting, bitch. No, I like, told you I play spoons, bitch. <laughs> That's my tea. Like, I kind of want to do a girl group. I want to do something else musically because this year I did my whole album and perfume and, like, web series. And so now I want to just, like, keep it going with yeah. something spicy. Yeah. All right. Hello. What's your question? What's your best tea? Oh, God. That's too generic. I, love I like a passion tea, tea lemonade from yes. Starbucks. The large with the sweetener and... Um, yes. McDonald's. Yeah. yeah. That's my tea. All right, take your fucking shirt. Yeah, so <laughs> it's your fucking shirt. Can All right. we go pee now? That was. <laughs> Do you have to pee? Like, oh, can I urinate? Do you have to pee? By the way, Vera has the smallest, smallest bladder, bladder known to man. Before I, we there was a down. whole thing on season nine where I disappeared from one of the lip syncs, and it was because they made they literally had to let me go pee because I started to pee. Vera, and- do you need to go pee in the alley? I go. need to pee in someone's Just go. mouth Just go. Let her go. Let her go. In someone's mouth. Go pee. Work. Go pee and Do we'll it, keep going. I, we'll no. ask Tatiana questions. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. I, I, is it going to take a while? You got to... Is it a No. Whole? She's just going to flip that. Oh, she's thing. already untucked. That's why she's got the the modesty robe in front of her. Yeah, there we go. All right. It's going to be like, like when Austin Powers right comes now. out of the cryo chamber. He just pees for like 30 minutes straight. Okay. Hi, what's your question? Hope it wasn't for Farah. Hi. <laughs> no, this is actually for Tatiana. Uh, follow-up question, what would your girl group name be? Ooh. See, that depends on who's in it, 
But someone online was like, oh, you, Shay, and Aja should do a group. Yes. And I was like, I did think about that one, and I would name it TSA and make it all, like, airport and, like, airplane <laughs> themed. You know what I mean? I thought that was real clever, but I don't think that's going to happen. But I would love to do that. <laughs> All right, hi, what's your question? Take some free shit, and what's your question? Tranica, my question's actually for you. Oh, Ooh, yes! Great, I've been wanting to talk about myself. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, but, okay, you're a Boys Town queen, and I'm curious if you were on Rue, if you could give us some options of what you do for Snatch Game. Oh, Ooh. what would I do for Snatch Game? I would do Jill Zarin from Real Housewives. <laughs> yes! Of New York. Thank you. I love that shit. Yeah. And I would do, um, I don't know, maybe like Jennifer Tilly. And then also oh. I would do um, Lisa Kudrow. Yeah. Oh, my ooh, God. Ooh, 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 ooh. All right. Oh. We got your free shit. Hi. So speaking of Snatch Game, and we had uh, Miss Caitlin. I'll get you. Come but. Down. Originally, Miss Detox was trying to do Miss Caitlyn Jenner. Yeah. And production said, don't you bring that here. It was too fresh. It was too soon. Yeah. We had to let it breathe. So. She didn't tell everyone that she supported Trump yet. And we were like, we're supposed to be on the bandwagon. And then she's like, oh, but I'm still me. And they're like, ah, fuck that. Now, nah, like, yeah. yeah, do it up. Yep. They're like, who wants to do <laughs> Caitlyn Jenner? You want to do it? Everybody bring it. Yeah. All right. Hi. What's your question? Hi. My name is Johnny. And, um, hey. Oh, my God. Long time listener, first time caller. All right. Oh. Um, my question is, uh, what would you add or take away from the show, or if you were on it on All Stars? Meaning what? What do you like mean? You, how would you change the actual production of the show? Yeah, like what's thing that you would like to add to the show, or one thing that you think that they should change? And in question. Hmm. Yeah. Like, do That's you think that there should be different types of contestants that are allowed to compete? Maybe should we figure out uh, oh, different well, ways of, yeah. I'm down for all types of drag. So trans, bio yes. queens, fucking bearded queens, all that bullshit. Come on board. Okay, We're all doing the same shit. And, um... Oh, drag kings also. Although I always wondered, like, if we did have drag kings, how would the challenges translate? That's the only issue I would have in my head. Um... I would not do so many fucking acting challenges because okay. sometimes I feel like they put too many acting challenges in one scene or season. Um, and then I personally would just be like, oh, can I at least do a music challenge? I've never been able to do a music challenge and I've always wanted to. That's just a personal selfish point of view, but yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we have some questions over here. These people have been flagging me down for the last 10 fucking minutes. Hi, wh uh, who is it? Oh, by the way, Gus Kenworthy's here. Make some noise for Gus Kenworthy, yeah. Work. You were amazing tonight. Tell us a pun. Okay, work. All right. <laughs> Who had a question? No? Ellen, you were fucking waving like madmen while I was across the room. And now oh, it's now you won't be crickets. all silent. Hi, work. what's your question? I hold the mic. Oh, you? can I touch your hand? No. <laughs> all right, so tonight is my last night of my 20s. Oh, so work. My question is. Yes is what type of shot will you do with me? Oh, God. Oh, well, I'm a tequila girl, and I'm also, yeah, and I'm also, like, I'm 21, so I don't know how it's going to be to, like, <laughs> turn 30, but totes down for tequila because it's the only alcohol that's an upper, so it keeps you going and also gets you real fucked up, and you get real horny off that shit, so if you're trying to catch some trade, you're prepared. Yeah, tequila all the way. All Secure. right, uh, I yeah. just didn't have an actual question. Hi, what's your question? <laughs> your neighbor. How was that? Your all right, does anyone have a question? Hi, what's your question? So it's a double question. First of all, get over here, girl. Let's talk some shit. Yes, come on, tea with Tati. Shit. So, yeah, we love that shit. Thank you. Oh, he's my back end. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> Anywho. So, so anyway, we had a question, very serious one. Yes. What would you do to stop world hunger for bottoms? What would I do to stop world hunger for what? For bottoms. Oh for my bottoms? God. Well, some bottoms need to start topping then, maybe. Damn. Although I do like the whole shift. Like, before, everyone was like, no, I'm a top. But now it's just like, no, we're all fucking Nelly bottoms. Hey! And we've taken over, but yet we have no one to, you know, pound us out. So I feel like, <laughs> let's just start actually being verse. Not like verse, like, oh, I'm verse. But then also, you only take dick. Fair. All right. Hi, what's your question? Or, nope, did you have one? 
<laughs> she looked at you like, bitch, I don't have a fucking question. <laughs> they just wanted a free fucking tote bag. All right, what is it? Have you ever kissed a girl? Oh, God. Yes, I have. All I, the time. We all grown together as a family. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Hi, what's your question? Hey, Tatiana, how well is Becky doing? Oh, Becky's still messy as fuck. Um, yeah. I'm going to do more episodes talking about Becky very soon. So we're going to fill more tea with Tati. Hey. Hopefully within the next couple of months. So yay. yay. Look for me. Yay. Ow. All right. Hi, what's your question? Uh, my questions are fair. I just wanted to know what looks she had for the season, like the ones we didn't get to see. Also, can I have your blotting sheets you used earlier? Like, can I buy those off of you? Like, girl, I Work. want Work. What did she ask for? You're whispering. Give me your blotting sheets. Can I have them? Body sheets? He or wants your, the shape of your body. Oh, your blotting sheets. Oh, blotting sheets. Oh, oh the God, dirty right here, baby. toilet paper you were Bitch, wiping on a, your It face. was just a napkin. I think they have yeah, them at the bar. It oh, it's an actual blotting sheet. No, it's a napkin. No, so my looks for all stars. These are gonna covered in nuts in two napkin. hours. Yeah. <laughs> my looks for all stars four. Uh, I was uh, almost every single one of them, besides maybe two or three, I fully designed myself. If not with the collaboration with the designer that I hired to make them, and uh, all, my all stars four package was very much like the the artistic vision of my soul, I guess. Um, so, you know, as the episodes go on, I have shot every single one. Although today I realized I forgot to shoot my three snatch game options. Oh, what were the other two? You oh, gave I us had Chris. backups. Gee, I got... Yeah, what were they? What were the other two? So I had Lindsay Lohan. Ooh. Ooh. And I had like a little uh, alcohol monitoring anklet and a yes. screwdriver. Yes. And then I had Christina Aguilera. Okay. Of course, fair. But no. which was just like I, I wasn't sure I was gonna make her funny, but I was like, Rue's probably gonna push me to do her, so I gotta have her there. And then uh, I had Mariah Carey as well. Ooh. Nice. So Mariah Carey, Chris Crocker, Lindsay Lohan, and um, but you brought fucking four. Yes, Damn. I brought four. Nice. Smart. Uh, but you know they did have us prepare like thirty-seven looks, so. I shot, you know, the most sparkly, fun ones, and I kind of forgot snatch game. But there. when I get home to LA, I've been on a, you know, 31 city tour. As soon as I get back, we'll do the snatch games. But the looks are very, right. very good, and I hope that when they come out to fruition, you all really see where my vision came from, and y'all really see like the little me isms in them. So yes, I love it when the girls that get eliminated, like they go and they post everything they would have worn. Yeah. Because we get we to watch it all. We spent too much through. money. Yeah, exactly. Oh, we spent our whole yes. year's paycheck on that shit. You know what I mean? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Bitch, I took out a loan. Hello. For four episodes. Work. <laughs> all right. Hi, what's your question? Thank you. <laughs> My question is, what is your favorite moment from Drag Race that, you, that you're a part of? That you were a part of? Yeah. What's your favorite part of Drag Race uh, that you like, were a part of? Moment Your favorite whatever? moment, yeah. I like Tatiana specifically? Both oh, of no, you. both of us. For me, it was the no, same. No, me. <laughs> Success. Yeah. For me, it was the same parts. Ah, yes! Yes. It was such a random oh, yes. fluke that, like, did so well. So, Woo! like, that's my fave. And it was also, like, an amazing single. So, yeah. Were you sur super nervous about that when you went on? Because it was a risk. Were you? Oh, yeah. And I didn't rehearse it during, like, <laughs> rehearsals. They all, like, even production was like, uh, what the fuck are you going to do? I'm like, I'm going to walk and say some stuff. And they're like... <laughs> Okay, so then when I actually did it and people laughed, I was like, oh, work. Like, that's, <laughs> that's all I had. So, yeah, I was happy that that ended up being that way. What about you, Farrah? I think my favorite moment of Drag Race was uh, the 9021 Ho Challenge. That was okay. so good. Yeah. It was very fun. I mean, the set was so, like, realistic in real life. And it really, like, I don't know, me and Trinity being mom and daughter was so funny to me. And it, it's and still so fitting. It is. And, you know, she styled our hair to look like, you know, mother and daughter. And it was just one of the most fun thing, like the most fun challenges ever. And it was very. That looked fun. I mean, the hot dog was so cold and gross. <laughs> it really was. I mean, we had shot that maybe three times, but. Ugh. I love it. Oh, right. me and Valentina's shakes were melting because Nina couldn't get her words. And I like, there's like a scene of me just like looking at my shake and make. So our shakes are melting because Nina can't get her words. So funny. Come on, Nina. All right. Hi, what's your question? Uh, he asked a question I was going to ask of these lovely ladies. So I'm going to ask you, are you getting along with the rest of the women in the secretarial pool? <laughs> All right. 
<laughs> I just like wait. I just like the answer. I don't know what that means. All right. <laughs> I don't know what that means. I'll get you. Hi. What's your question? Hi. Um, I always like to know what. Um, this is so close to my face. Well, you have to talk into it. So uh, buck up, buckaroo. I know it's a little intimidating. You just gotta get right up in there. Um, what challenge would you like to see, or and or what runway would you like to see on the show that you haven't seen so far? What Ooh. challenge or runway would you like to see that you haven't seen yet? I feel like we've run the gamut of like all the challenges no. and that and that well like I mean we have acting challenges and we've done them about you know 10 different ways music challenges in 10 different ways oh uh, no I saw that bitch <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to think of something that we haven't done do you know anything that we haven't done night of a thousand Christina's hey. oh night of a thousand Britney's oh are we, are, are, are we waiting for Britney to, to go on the show? We're waiting for Britney to go on the show. See, now Ross made it all kinds of blurry when he was here. He's yeah. like, oh, I can't say anything. But I live. I, you know, fingers crossed. You know, she's just going to be there like. terrified of drag queens and hey, gays. That's really cool. Yeah. That's really I cool. I mean, look. we saw her on X Factor. You could see where her fucking puppet strings <laughs> were like. Her psoriasis was so flared up. She was just fully like. Trifling. Bitch. She was fully you like plugged into the wall. It's like, <laughs> she's like downloading opinion program. <laughs> Deny. Okay. Hi. What's your question? Hi. Uh, my question is for Farah. Can you give us some more samples of your sex phone operator voice? Oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. You be the, you be the customer. Okay. <clears throat> Hello. <laughs> Hi. My name is April. <laughs> How are you doing, handsome? <laughs> so, have you ever been with a special girl? <laughs> All right, uh, logging off. <laughs> That's my voice when I go to Taco Bell. Was, <laughs> listen, if the job and if the job included actual phone sex, I would have probably kept it. But it was so much therapy, and I'm too traumatized myself. Wait, to be... so you really did phone sex? Operating. Three months when I was 18. Oh my god! Oh, nice. Yeah, as a woman. Yes. Be, well, because I wasn't. I didn't have a sexy boy voice, but I copied my mom's phone voice. I'll, she would always go, <laughs> "Hello, this is she." <laughs> is there a, is there a lot of money in phone sex operating? I, there would be if they didn't take so much money from yeah. you as like the company that hires you. They take yeah. like seventy five percent. So that's aggressive. Wow. Yeah, I, it wasn't worth it. But it's ninety percent therapy. Oh yes, because <laughs> they're they're losing their houses. You oh, know, no. the wives are finding out about their deviances. It's very dark. All right. Hi. <laughs> All right. God. Sorry, there's a mess over here. We're trying oh, to clean I, up. I just love her response. Mo okay, work. <laughs> Mommy's distracted. Hi, what's your question? Hello. Um. So, like, regardless who like ended up in the like the bottom of your of the first episode of each of your guys' season, who would you guys have sent home? Um, the beginning of your guys' season, like who you guys saw, like who would you guys have sent home? You mean on All Stars? Yeah, All Stars. And if I had like the choice of yeah, everyone, anyone, anyone. Of, oh, it's in uh, home Alaska. Yeah. She sent me home fucking twice. You're out of here <laughs> from the jump. Get the fuck home, bitch. Makes yeah. Sense. Makes sense. How about you? I feel like I yeah. would have done things very fairly on what I thought was the tea, and like. <laughs> yeah. So if I, I think I, I think I would have got rid of. Oh gosh, I shouldn't say this. Say because it. what I saw on the show is different than from what you all saw. Ooh. Oh, bitch, you gonna give us someone completely Come on, different? Mama. What you giving? Let Who you giving? Me. Girl, I mean, I would have probably sent home Monique. Oh, why? Why? Twerk, yeah, why? You gotta give it, give Twerk. it all up. Porque why? I mean, like, I mean, listen, we're on All Stars, and yes, I slipped and fell, and yes, I cry a lot, but bitch, it, you should know how to keep your wig on. <laughs> Fair. That's true. Fair. You know, you gotta glue that shit down. Although, I thought it was an odd, like, I thought she meant to do it. Wait, wait, wait. Do y'all remember in the, <laughs> uh, the first episode when Rue was like, maybe you should tape your head and put... She said, when she first said, maybe you should use uh, safety pins. <laughs> 
<laughs> She's like, oh, a little bit of duct tape. Every and single one of us said, what? And then Bruce goes, wait, bobby pins. <laughs> yes, bitch, safety pin that wig onto your scalp. Yes. <laughs> All right. Hi, what's your question? Hi, my question's for Tati. All um, right. Are you single? I'm asking for a friend. Who is this for? Are you single for him? Both of us? Or just which one? Oh, I'm aggressively single. (laughs) How about you, Farah? Are you with anyone? I'm projectile single. (laughs) Oh, nice. (laughs) All right. uh, We're going to do a few more questions. uh, And then uh, at 10 o'clock, we're going to do the uh, meet and greet. You can buy tickets to that when you get in line. Also, at 11 and 12, the girls are performing. So we're going to do a few more questions. Hi, what are your questions? What is your one question (laughs) that has a question mark at the end of it that is not a statement? Okay, hi. What is a one of the World of Wonder YouTube shows that you would like to like take over hosting? Ooh, Ooh take over hosting. Good one. I don't want to take over anyone's, but I'd love to guest on uh, uh, or yes. um, the one with um, shit. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Just because that first season I was referenced like every fucking episode. Yeah. It was like the same parts in contact and I feel like it's owed to me to be at least like a third party to that series for one episode how about you I don't know I don't really keep up with a lot of them I love yours Tiwa Tati I would love to guest on that oh that's fun actually I kind of want to do, do this yeah oh my god please I think that would be so fun because yours is very funny Thanks. but I mean I kind of miss some of the old ones do y'all remember Raja Draja Yes. I think it would be funny if they brought on Rue Girls to try and draw other Rue <laughs> Girls, regardless of their artistic ability. <laughs> Kimora's. I want to oh, be wait, on Kim- what? Yes. I really they like that. asking that me to does... go on that, and I'm like, no. But I feel like that's very much like a good tea, though. Like, that's a fun one where you just get asked random-ass questions and see if you actually know it. Fair but I feel while... like everyone's trying to make me look dumb all the time, and I'm like... Is that why you won't gonna... go on it? Because you don't. I just want to be smart. (laughs) She's like, I just want to be educated. Yeah. So uh, uh, so, I will do it soon. I will. Yeah. So, uh, are you smarter than a fifth grader? Uh, (laughs) Please book her. Yeah. She's she's trying to show up. I'm as smart as a sixth grader, Kevin. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Kevin, I swear, I'm hungry. My or a jaw ten- hurts. Or a tenth grader in Florida public school system. <laughs> Hi, what's your question? Um, so like I would have loved to have seen Katya win over Alaska. Is there? Me You're too. gonna need to move closer. I'm not doing this. <laughs> Is there someone that would be like a runner-up that you would really have loved to have seen win instead of perhaps the actual winner? Instead of Alaska? Ooh, like, anyone? Yeah. Oh, and what do you mean in anybody? Like, I wanted Katya to win instead of Alaska. Is there someone that you wanted to win instead of the actual winner? Or who would you pick? From, like, any season yeah. or anything? Yeah. Um, oh, Raven. shit. Raven. <laughs> Raven. Season two. Well, I mean, to be fair, Raven won. Raven won. Um, but, no, I mean, I was rooting for Katya also. Love my Katya. But I also love Alaska, too. I thought they were both, like, very deserving. Um, yeah, I think Raven was a good one. What about you? So I loved, I mean, despite, I, I felt like all the girls on season nine were extremely talented and extremely charismatic, but Sasha Velour, like if you were there in that audience and watched that performance, she did very well. I think Shay still has her time to win because yes. she is one of the most talented drag queens I've ever met in my entire life. Um, but that's the future. I think uh, maybe, I, I, like I said, I think Raven would have been a great winner for season two versus Tyra. I I just didn't see it for her. Um, just don't see it. <laughs> I, I like Bird the, box. <laughs> I feel like with season, I, I, season five, I think Jinx was a great winner, but I think Alaska or Roxy, they, I think I feel like it could have been anybody's game. I don't know. I I just like I'm I'm one of like as a drag queen, you can really see the talents of other drag queens a little bit more clearly than you can as like a viewer that doesn't do drag. So I'm usually pretty happy with the winner because I know what they probably went through to get to that point. But all right, we'll do a couple more because uh, Tati is about to pee herself and her tapes. Oh no, pulling. I don't have to pee. I'm just like stretching out these legs, Mama. All right, <laughs> hi. What's your question? 
Hi. Um, if you had to choose a guest judge to come and judge you on a season, who would you want? Or, or slash, who do you want to see come and guest judge on a season? Jennifer Love Hewitt. <laughs> that was so good. What? I, just, I don't. I know it's ridiculous. You know what? Sometimes they have some random ass judges. I've just always been a really big fan of Jennifer Love Hewitt. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I know what she did last summer. Or yeah, just or anything. You know uh, what's that one? Um, they're all in a house and they're all sad. It was in the '90s. It was like we had my Melrose. childhood. Wayne Brady. Party of Five. Thank you. Party of Five. That's my description. They're all in a house and they're all sad. Um, I'm just a big Jennifer Love Hewitt fan. I always wish the best for her. But other than that, Brittany, obvi. Yeah. I'd be down for that. Or Rihanna. Rihanna. I feel like Rihanna would read everyone aggressively, oh, yeah. like make bitches cry, and then laugh at them as they cry. Yes. I would love for Christina to come back. Yeah. <laughs> no, um, no, 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 no. I, I, like, Dita Von Teese did like season three or something, right? She did two. Two. Yes. Oh my God. Yeah. She did us. And I would love for her to make a, a comeback to the show. And um, I would love Ariana Grande to come back. <sighs> uh, Khloe <laughs> Kardashian would be yeah. a great comeback uh, judge. Yes. They've had some good ones. Yeah, they've had some good ones. Not against. All right. Hi, what's your question? God damn it. <laughs> All right. Hi, oh, what's fucker. your question? All right. Back to Malibu. Hi, so I really love both of your looks. I was just wondering, like, how closely you work with your designers or if you let them give, like, if you give them, like, creative reign or, like, where you guys get your references or inspiration from when it comes to, like, your looks and your fashion. That is just such a good question. That's yeah. my favorite one of the night. For when I do, like, meet and greets or hosting stuff, I love them all. Um, I do. I love them all. Um, but then when I'm doing like stage stuff, I just tend to pull from like literally like fashion shows. I'll take little points of interest and then send them to either a designer or I'll try to do it on my own. I'm really good about gluing shit to other shit and then making some new shit out of the shit that I just glued together. But if I need something like actually made, I send it to a couple of designers that I have on call. So yeah. I mean, I'm sure we probably have a similar process. Like, if I'm having something custom made, I'll draw it first and then send it to them, and they'll be like, well, this won't work, so then they'll redraw it, send it back to me, and then you draw it again with the changes that they made, may tweak it a little bit more, and then you kind of go back and forth until it kind of creates the perfect thing. Um, but... <laughs> You know, I'm not against a little mall look for the Christmas tour. You know, why? Yes. We like to, I, I, I like to, like on a tour like that, I like to wear something new every night. So we just all will go to the mall, like after waking up on the bus and go buy, like go buy some red and sh some sweater, some ugly Christmas sweaters. You know, drag is yes. supposed to be fun and not all the time you have to be so couture and put together. It's like, you know, we're comfortable when, shit. If I'm sitting on a couch talking some shit, bitch, I'm going to be comfortable. <laughs> I saved the girls. extravagance for the actual stage. You know what I mean? We That's just how I think of girls, it. You know. <laughs> As Farah elaborately hides her tuck. Yeah. <laughs> All right, uh, we're gonna do. Uh, I think one more question, and we're gonna close it out. Hi, what's Where? your question? Uh, specifically for Tati, you gave like your like the best lip sync on your season against Alyssa. Who do you think gave the best lip sync in All Stars Three? Ooh. All stars three. Okay. Three? Three? Uh, three or this this one? Four? Last season. He said okay. what he said. Okay, well to be fair. <laughs> said All right, what I said. Don't snap at me, bitch. Kiss my oh, ass. Shit. <laughs> to be fair. I don't necessarily remember all of them. <laughs> Only because I have always kept up with all of the seasons, period. So they all tend to blend together of that, but um, <laughs> I always like, you know what I will say? I always like the finale one where there's like three or four all doing it at the same time because none of them have space. So you really have to see whether <laughs> they can emote because some people just run across the stage just like gaining attention. But if you have to be in a small area, you actually have to emote something to get a judge's attention. I kind of like those situations. Yeah. If that answers that question. I think I lubed around it, but you know, yeah. Not lubed around it. <laughs> Slipped. Lubed? Slipped a, looped? Hey. Lubed. L lubed. I love it. Wet. Lubed. Lubed. Uh. All right. Uh, that concludes tonight's viewing party. Did you guys enjoy yourselves? 
All yes. right, we'll be back next week with uh, Eureka O'Hara and Cameron Michaels. Um, uh, the girls are going to stick around for a meet and greet at 10 o'clock. You can buy tickets to that when you get in line, uh, and that's going to be in Back Bar. Also, they're performing at 11 and 12, and the bar's going to be open till 2 in the morning. Uh, please give it up for uh, Tatiana. <laughs> And give it up for Vera Mo! <laughs> All right. Uh, Happy New Year's. Uh, Merry Christmas. And thank you guys for coming out tonight. Cheers! Oh.